What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Game Over Gurkha, man. Welcome back to Space Funeral, which I don't think I've actually discussed this yet. It's actually the name of the world that this game is set in, and not an event or a character in the game. I thought I should probably bring that up. Welcome to uh, the desert, I suppose. Wasteland. Welcome to Piggy. Welcome to Malus. That's the name of the place. We have many goods and criminals. That's just just what you want. Goods and criminals. Gulp, gulp. I'm hiding in this desert from Rip the Blood. Don't tell him I'm here. Yeah, I don't, don't spoil your beans, buddy. You're cool. It's all good. Safe with me. Don't think I'm supposed to be able to walk over that wall, but you know, that happens sometimes. And it is Mr. Magic Man. You know what that means. This is an annoying piece of mapping. Come down the stairs to an invisible floor down here. <sighs> That's, uh, this game comes so close to perfection. I can't, I did, these things don't detract, they just bug me because I'm an idiot. I gotta stop complaining about this shit. Let's talk to little wizard man. Good grief, good grief. The locals have the market in town sewn up tight. I have to make do out here. Oh, well, isn't that a shame? Yeah, you can see their little walk cycles up there a little bit clearer, a little bit slower in the menu. I just... I don't know if it's so much a walk cycle, is this just a series of unrelated images? I'm gonna buy this Bible. Actually, I'm gonna buy... Let's buy five Bibles. I'll show you why later on. I mean, you probably already know, because the other characters were talking about it. Also, I opened one of the windows, so if you hear some extra noise, that's that's cars going by. But it was get, Even though it's cold, and there's a cold breeze blowing through the window, it was getting pretty hot in here. It always does in this apartment for some reason. And it doesn't take long. Oink, oink! There are rumors of a strange figure roaming the mystery forest. He calls himself the 20th Century Boy. What's that? 20th Century Boy, my friend, is the fucking best name for a character of all time. I'll have you know. That's who it is. I am Hell the Stone. My motives are unknown. Genius. That's just... That's just good writing, that is. The mystery forest lies beyond the gate. It is said to contain the legendary Lion Village. Well, I'm not ready to go there yet. I am Hide the Hill. Crime is my business. Oh, you... I, the <laughs> I just love the fucking names of these criminals. I'm Burn the Blood. No one leaves without Rip the Blood's permission. I'm Crack the Bone. Only Rip the Blood may leave here. Wow, I don't want to... I don't want to fight these guys. At least that's fenced off. I could walk around them, but there's an invisible wall. So I guess you guys don't have to worry. I'm Break the Bone. There is nothing to my nature but an endless hatred. That's a sad way to live. What? What? You're heading through the northern wastes? Don't you know it's full of moan beasts? The fuck is a moan beast? I guess we'll find out when we get there. What's up? Rrr. Keeping mummies is dangerous. They like to eat bones and flesh. Bro, uh, well, that makes sense. I guess does explain why you got one in your fucking house, buddy. A fucking house within a house, and in this side of this house? Help me. You can't see my face, but I turned to look at an invisible camera and made just a face. You would have loved it if you could have seen it. Unfortunately, you couldn't, and that's just the nature of things. This place is just full of NPCs, so we're going to be talking to a lot of people this episode. I am Desert Knight. I'm too rusted to move. Rusted in the desert. It happens, I guess. Greetings, I'm Horace. The citizens of Malice must stay constantly alert to prevent the town being overrun by dread mummies. However, ever since Rip the Blood took over, thanks for the loud car, jackass, security has lapsed. We're heading for a mummy cataclysm! Oh no! There are rumors of a jinn somewhere in Malice. It will grant you a heart's desire. I know where the jinn is from my last playthrough, and we will see him later on. Mummies are very dangerous to touch. What? 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 I'm not talking about mothers. Oh, that's silly. Despair. <laughs> <laughs> Despair. Beautiful. Oink oink, say you look like you're headed for Rip the Blood's Fort. I know a secret that may help you along, but it won't be for free. Fifty rubles is the price of my secret. What do you reckon? Should we give him should we pay for the secret? Yeah, I reckon we should. You've made a wise decision. Listen to me, the password for the bridge is right left, right middle. Got it? Right left, right middle. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> 
This predates Dark Souls, but everyone laughs just like every character in Dark Souls. Related? Probably not. I am Barry the Leg. Soon we shall rule this world. Well, Barry the Leg, you sound like a driven individual. Greetings, greetings. I am Hugh Leopard. Would you like to see a pyramid? Yeah, sure. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This is like a little puzzle area. Beware the mummy's touch. So basically, we've got this uh, map here, which is full of items and pickups and equipables. And uh, every time a mummy touches you, basically it resets you and sends you back to the start. So it's kind of like a diamond skull. It's cold gaze seems to penetrate your soul. Let me through. Oh, no. Uh, actually, you know what? It'd be quicker just to let him touch me, and then come back inside. It basically just kicks you out back outside, which is nothing, you know, too obnoxious. Come on, no. Oh no. Oh, serious? Well, fuck off then. <laughs> All right. I can't remember what items are down here if they're even worth picking up. You know what? You're coming this way. I'm going to come around this side. I outsmarted you. Small nut. It's okay, I guess. It's a fair reaction. I think it's reasonable. 50 rubles. That pays us back for that information we got that I've already forgotten, and I ran straight into that mummy, which was dumb of me to do. This is, of course, completely optional. I don't need any of these items, but there's just... Mummies, you know? Who does... No. Ah! Who doesn't enjoy a good mummy? Mama's boy. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, yes! Armored pants! Shit, shit, shit! Is he gonna come in and get me? It looks like... Huh. They won't walk into you. But if you walk into them... Then you're trapped. You know what, that's probably enough items. Would you like to go back to town? Yes, I would, sir. Thanks for dropping me off back at the main... Uh, main uh, out of town, we got a mummy there. Got a pig down here, what's this guy got to say? I work in a mine for old scaps and pence. Does this mean scraps? I don't know. My lungs are in constant pain. Well, thumbs the brakes, I guess. That ripped the blood is quite the fellow. I admire his moxie and sociopathy. Sociopathy. I don't know how it's actually pronounced. Swag to the steak farm. Well, we'll be going there in a minute. I am cut the eyes, and I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> cut the eyes, what a name. That ripped the blood has done a good job of keeping the undesirables off the street. This is because he enslaves them to work in his mines. Now, I missed the mines on my first playthrough, I think, mostly, so that's definitely something I want to actually see in this playthrough. Greetings, welcome, you should visit my brother's store here, it's full of worthless crap. Well, this is honest, he's up front, you know. I'm pleased with the selection of complete garbage on sale. Yeah, alright. All this worthless shit at low prices, can you afford not to buy it? Man, this guy's the hard sell. The hard sell. Welcome to the crap store, we have many stupid things. Alright, what do you got? We got some Bibles, already bought some of those. Magic eyes, which are for animals, we've, we've established. Drab hat, prevents spoot. Okay. Mysterious ring, who knows where it's been? Alright, I'll buy it, I'm gonna see what that does. Oh, I can buy multiple. Focused hat, this will prevent distraction. Weightlifter's hat, that hat gives more muscle. Yeah, I want that. Oh, I don't have enough money! What? Where did all my money go? I guess it's been a while since I afforded anything. What else we got here in these other houses? Knock, knock, there's nobody home. Oh, this guy looks familiar. Well. See, it's things like this. In a lot of, I think, a lot of indie games, a lot of people would take something like this very seriously and think it was trying to make some kind of like profound statement. In Space Funeral, it's more of just a like... Like, I don't think it's there for any deep reason. It's just there like a, hey fuck, why not? People might think it's deep, but it probably isn't. Maybe there's some deeper meaning to it, but I think, <laughs> I think it's just there as like a... Making fun almost of a... Most of the... There's a lot of pretentious in, pretentiousness in indie games. This way to the steak farm? Oh yeah, we already spoke to you about that. Definitely want to make our way to the steak farm. Speaking of which, here it is here. Oh, um, hello. There are some steaks out back. You can pick one out. 
if you want, is 50 rubles to enter the steak paddock. You can choose one steak. Sorry. Yeah, let's enter that steak. Have a good time, I guess. Cheers. All right, what do we got here? This steak seems curious and friendly. He is quite clean. Nah. Nah. This steak growls as you approach and appears surly and reclusive. It is very muscled and dense. Nah, that's good. This steak is shy but pleasant. You feel protective towards it. It's quite plump. Yeah, give me the plump steak. You already have a steak. Don't be greedy. Oh, I should have uh, checked out what these other ones had to say before I bought that one. They probably said something entertaining. What's that steak for? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Because I'm not telling. And that's a fact, Jack. Oops. I am Lie the Smoke. A wizard lives here, but he's not very good. Oh, that's this guy. I am Wizard Yorm. Welcome to my grimy cave. City of Forms. Rumors say it lies to the northeast, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Strokes beard discreetly. Come to me if you lose your form. Well, you don't know what that means, but I certainly do. I hear Rip the Blood has tapped into the reservoir for his mining operations. Doesn't he know it's infested with dread mummies? Uh-oh. I am Tell the Way. Continue north to the old mine and to the castle of Rip the Blood. And we got some new music and I'm going to equip some new... What have I got? Not still just that. Still no shield. Still no... Ah, here we go. So I can put on the... What's the Mysterious Ring? Doesn't seem to change my stats at all. So I got the Weightlifter's hat. Oh, that's just an extra accessory. So I can either have more muscle or... Yeah, more muscle, please. And let's equip Leg Horse with... Can keep the heavy boots. Armored pants for more defense. Yes, extra 10. I was looking at the wrong thing. I got real confused. Focused hat doesn't really do anything interesting. Weightlifter's hat, though. Up attack by 10. I'll take it. <laughs> the mine site has turned up a lot of stupid monsters. You better watch yourself. Yeah, all right, buddy. This sounds familiar. What? You want some of this? Two criminals and a bomb dog are packed. Yeah, that's right. This cigarette smoke spells out crime. Now, I'm going to show you a little something something. Let's try an item. We'll throw a Bible at one of these guys. Watch what it does. Well, one hit dead. Not that they really have much health anyway. But I thought it was entertaining that you could uh, throw a Bible at him to kill him in one hit. I think that's pretty fucking fantastic. Bob Dog's just watching the battle. I don't know what his deal is. Oh, well, he's dead now, so I guess it doesn't matter. Some bags of blood, very nice. And you're dead, Ben. I'm mad as hell, and not gonna take it anymore. The Death Fortress of Rip the Blood has many traps and monsters. There are rumors of a secret entrance. Last time I went in just through the main entrance. And it wasn't so bad. Also, we have a new enemy, the Swarthy Skull. Don't know what this guy's deal is. It's just kind of a weird looking skull, I guess. It's not a challenge to us, though, because we're the best! Oh shit, Leghorse's health is way low. By best, I mean we really need to uh, heal up my f pals here. Leghorse, when did you get your ass handed to you? Wow, you really got, like, pounded. Like a, like a duck. Hey, lion, what's up? These criminals don't understand the forces they're using. When they die, the lions will eat their bones. Well, so there's still, there's still something to be profited from by these criminals and from your, your end. You're not doing too bad. Hey, buddy. We are digging up many errors like this one in the mine. I wonder what it means. I unfortunately can't interact with the errors. I'd love, love to be able to be some kind of text when you, when you click on them. But there isn't, sadly. But, you know, that's, that's certainly a minor thing. I'm not going to complain about that too much. Also, here's some dancing mummies. Enjoy. Alright, that's enough dancing mummies. These underground rivers are the lifeblood of malice, but they attract many mummies. Well, isn't that a little unfortunate? My heart is stone, you're already dead. 
Oh, two bomb dogs. All right, well, I'm going to throw another Bible at this guy to get him out of the way. Because it just seems like the right thing to do. Oops, that's not a... I don't want to use a skill, I want to use an item. Fucking... yeah. Uh, I love his attack animation when he fucking throws the Bible too. Perfect. Grab enemies, hold you still, preach the good word. Uh, power kick, let's see what that does to this guy. 53, it's alright. It's alright. It's, it's okay. 72 for a regular attack coming from Philip? Man. Philip, you just bring in the rain. Lake Horse, you're not too bad either. Lake Horse is a fascinating character, and I'd love, love to know how the creator, you know, come up with the. Uh, come up with Lake Horse. Like, I'd love to know his origins. And that's a little Pokemon reference there, obviously, with the music, as most of you would have picked up right away. Um, how do I feel about it? I think it's a subtle enough thing to not put me off. There are some times when a game... Oh. Oh, that was easy. Um, sometimes I find games make preferences to other games like that, and it's a little bit too on the nose. But I don't feel that that is too on the nose, if that makes sense. I think that's perfectly acceptable within my boundaries, at least. Alright, so, next time, that's the Fortress of Rip the Blood. Last time I went straight in there and everything was okay, but there's this building here, and I didn't explore it last time, and I don't want to make that mistake again, so I'm going to leave this off here this time. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping you're enjoying the series. If you are, let me know in the comments below, because I would love to hear from you, and you can always leave a like, too, because it helps a little bit with uh, my videos getting suggested on other people's videos, which is going to help me out in the long run. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I will, of course, catch you next time. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, and as always, have a good one.